church kids and welcome to our Sunday morning service. It's the first Sunday in the merry month of May, Sunday the 2nd of May. And May is my favourite month. You want to know why? Well, you get a half term in May. You get bank holidays in May. Every day gets brighter. The weather is usually great. It's a good month. But this year, it's an extra special month for me because this May, I may get to see you at home in person sometime very soon, which is really exciting because we've been apart for far too long. But until such time, we've always got our Sunday morning services and we've got lots packed in for you today. Uh, we've got some sciencey type experiments, we've got a memory verse, we've got worship, we've got praise and we've got prayer uh, and we've got something else from Pam as well this week. So lots to look forward to. Now it's been a while since we've had any of your contributions so perhaps you can give some thought this week, uh, perhaps on your bank holiday Monday you could get some of the stuff out at home and do uh, some of the crafts that we've been showing you and send in a video of that or send in some photos. Perhaps you want to show us your own craft or your own science experiment or anything you've been up to that you'd like to share that we could put into the Sunday morning service. That'd be great. So I look, hope, I look forward to hearing from whatever you've been up to. Hope you're well, but let's go over and see what we're doing for this week's uh, service. So today for our experiment, we're going to be playing around with stuff in the kitchen, stuff you should have at home. So what you need to start with is a saucer or a small plate with a bit of milk in it. So get some out of the fridge, put it in a, in a saucer. You might need some help here uh, with your parents, so get them to help out. And then you need some food colouring. So I've got uh, yellow, doesn't look very yellow in the bottle, uh, and I've got some red. And all we're going to do is going to drop a little bit of each into the milk. Now you might need a hand, a little bit of a hand with that so uh, perhaps you can pour it out or perhaps you can use like a toothpick to drop it onto it for you. So there's goes the yellow, probably just about see that and then I'm going to put in some red here as well. There we go, that's better. And what you should see is that you can see the colours on the plate form a circle, but they, they're pretty much kept to themselves. But if you take another toothpick or a cotton bud uh, and you cover the end in fairy liquid, you can get it to sort of run away from the fairy liquid. Let's put that on there. There we go. So I've got some fairy liquid on the end. And now, perhaps when you, if you can see, if you bring it a little bit closer. Let's see if we can see this bit closer. There we are. When you put it on there, it should cause the food coloring to run away. And it turns it back to milky. There we are. And you can use it to drag it around and make pretty pictures and patterns. There we are. So this is your experiment for this week. Get some milk and some food colouring and see if you can get it to do funky stuff using a, a cocktail stick with some uh, washing up liquid on the end of it. I, and don't drink it afterwards, that will be disgusting. That's it for now, let's go over and see what we've got in store next. Hey kids, so this week's mummy verse is from James chapter 2 verse 13 and it goes, Mercy triumphs over judgment fairly easy this week so the first action is mercy so put your hands up like this mercy then triumphs big and strong triumphs and then finally over judgment so all of the actions all together are mercy triumphs over judgment james chapter 2 verse 13 so the memory verse for this week is again from the book of james james is full of really good advice, really encouraging verses, and also some challenging ones as well. But this week it's in from James chapter 2, and it's the end of verse 13. It's quite a short one. It's just mercy triumphs over judgment. In other words, when you are in those situations where you might want to make a judgment about something, or you try to think 
uh, sort of crossly about it. Maybe you've got um, a situation whereby someone's upset you uh, and you, you want to get back, you want to get even a little bit. Well, the Bible says that mercy is better than that. It's better than doing that. It triumphs over that. So it, what the Bible is encouraging us to do, what James is saying to us, in those circumstances, you don't need to get back. You don't need to get even or get revenge. You, but you should be f- merciful. That means you should forgive the other person. And that that's even better than getting your own back. The Bible says mercy triumphs over judgment. And that's not something that's easy to do. And it's not something that's natural to do. That's Most people want to get even. That's, that's the way that we often think. When someone upsets you, sometimes you like to sort of let them know they've upset you as well. If not, upset them back. Like when your sister or your brother sort of takes something that belongs to you. You want to take something back or you want to tell on them so they get into trouble. But the Bible is here is saying, we don't have to live like that. We can be different. And we can show what it means to follow Jesus by the way that we respond. And the way we do that is being merciful. So we forgive people. Uh, we, we let them say sorry and we, we accept that. And we don't go chasing after them to get our own back. So that's our memory verse this week. Mercy triumphs over, uh, is greater than judgment. Mercy triumphs judgment. So well, let's spend some time now in prayer thinking about that. Perhaps there's some people you, uh, you know you need to forgive because they've upset you and you've been thinking about it in the back of your mind. Or, or maybe there's some people you, you need to go and say sorry to. Um, you can pray that through now uh, when we do our prayers. Uh, and perhaps it's, none of that comes to mind and you just need to think and pray about the week ahead and just pray that God will help you uh, to be kind and loving and merciful and forgiving of other people. And then after that, we're going to go into a time of worship. But before we do that, let's pray together now.
open my heart to love you every day in every way. Open my eyes to see you. Open my ears to hear you. Open my heart to love you every day in every way. Your love is never ending, your grace is all abounding, your mercy never fails. Your love is never ending, your grace is all abounding, your mercy never fails. Open my eyes to see you, open my ears to hear you, open my heart to love you every day in every way, open my eyes to see you, open my ears to hear you, open my heart to love you every day in every way. Hi there. <clears throat> now, today I want to talk to you about mercy. Now, mercy is a bit like forgiveness and it can actually be really hard to be merciful. Look at this um, jug of water. I wonder how many teaspoons are in here. Let's count them. One, two, it's going to take ages. I wonder how many teaspoons of water are in the ocean. There must be so, so many. But you know, God's mercy is like the water in the ocean. In fact, God's mercy is far greater and plentiful than the water in the ocean. Have you ever been to a vending machine, put your money in and two chocolate bars come out even though you paid for one? It's great, isn't it? What a bonus. We like that, don't we? What happens when you put your money in and then the chocolate bar gets stuck? So frustrating. And then you try and get your money back and your money doesn't come out. And then you, you end up with nothing. That makes me really, really mad. But when we do something wrong, we really love it when people forgive us. But when they do something bad to us, we kind of want something bad to happen to them. Do you know, it's all over movies and TV. You know, when someone is wronged and they're trying to get revenge, you know, we, we call them a hero, that they finally got justice. But God says, well done, when we show mercy. Because we all do bad things. You know, nobody is perfect, even though sometimes we think we're a really good person. So why don't we show mercy to someone? Because one day you might want them to show mercy to you. So don't try and get even. Instead, try and be merciful. <laughs>